Hi, in this tutorial I'll show you how to import data from Excel into eViews. First we need to create a work file. We go to File, New, Work File. Now under Work File Structure Type you can see you can choose from unstructured data that is for regression analysis the second one dated regular frequency that's for time series analysis and the balanced panel that's for panel data analysis right we've got time series so we choose dated frequency we next choose the frequency that it goes from annual semi-annual and so on right suppose we've got quarterly data and suppose we've got it and next we have to specify what date starts and ends Right, R starts on 1980 quarter 1 and ends on 2006 quarter 3. Optionally, you can give the work file a name and a page reference. Usually you can leave that blank. On pressing OK, the work file is created. You see that in this work file window you now have the range of data from 1980 quarter 1 to 2006 quarter 3 that consists of 107 observations notice also you have C and resid these are the um, protected names C stands for constant or intercept B uh, resid stands for residual you can see what's in here by clicking on the two right click on the mouse and choose open okay so you see here that the resid consists of not applicable because it's not resid there are no residuals and the constant is just a series of zeros next we select the series or series from excel that we wish to copy so I want this one. Notice it has a label in the first row. Copy it to the clipboard. And now to import it we go quick empty group edit series and here is the data window. Now if you've got a label you need to shift up one like this and enter the, paste the data from here observation and there your label appears supposing you didn't do that uh, you pasted it here you get a not applicable because it, it's not a number JLL is a label here it's not a number okay. notice also that we when we import the series uh, the work file window recognizes it so it's got JLL and series 0 a remark about the labels here we're looking at JLL the remark about the labels is that it mustn't start off with a number and it mustn't have spaces between characters if you try to do that uh, Excel won't recognize it let's show you how this works so copy so in this label we have US and then a space and then a whole load of stuff well eViews won't recognize that That's observation we try to paste it you see it identifies a series 2 because we had a space in our label which it didn't recognize suppose I want to correct this I, I don't want that series 2 there uh, let's just call it um, uh, variable rename it yes Okay, and it is renamed which is reflected in the work file okay well this ends uh, the importing data in eViews tutorial